Hey guys, Tang from JAG here, and today I'm gonna do a little feature about the two new Echo One rifles here. These are the BTS series. These are full metal M4 style guns. You'll see they have different magazines. One uses an MP5 style magazine, and the other is an M4. Let's talk about the features real quick, and then we'll get into shooting it. So we'll start with the BTS Mod 2. This is an M4 style gun, as you can see here. It has a lot of the features that many players have been asking for. This is a full metal body, quick change, gearbox, a PDW style stock for those CQB players, and a reasonably short forend that is M-lock and aluminum. You also have a billet style receiver, similar to kind of like the Magpul style that everyone was after for the longest time, and a more straightened grip. So people who run the stock short, you don't have to contort your hand to a ridiculous angle. And of course you get flip up sights. This gun comes with one mid cap magazine and it'll take anything meant for an M4. Inside the gearbox, again, we have a quick change system. You can access that via the buffer tube. You can do this without taking apart the whole gun, unlike many other quick change styles here. So all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and a large flathead, and then you can get the spring guide out from the buffer tube. You also have a functioning bolt catch. And then inside on the gearbox itself, you have a version two reinforced gearbox with a full metal tooth piston rack and you also have a micro switch trigger which uses a standard version 2 footprint so that you can upgrade that to whatever you like but already included is a mosfet so you can run lipo batteries out of the box in fact the gun comes pre-wired with deans so you'll be required to use a buffer tube style lipo this battery compartment is very generous and easy to access unlike most pdw stocks you can run our echo one lipos just fine or other brands now since these are deans i only have on my hand today this is to me this is not the kind you can use so you'll have to convert or get a plug adapter for the bts mon 3 which is what's in my hand right now this is the one that uses an mp5 style magazine and is a pistol caliber carbine or submachine gun style whatever nomenclature you want to use same features as the bts mod 2 however there is an ambidextrous fire control system and of course you have a bolt catch that works with this style of magazine too also worth mentioning is the rotary metal hop-up unit that clicks when you adjust it and on the mod 3 you also get this cool m-lock foregrip to access the battery compartment here all you do is extend the stock out like usual and when you're on the last click squeeze the smaller of the two levers and out comes the butt stock once you have that off it's just a matter of loosening the buffer tube here this is threaded and here you see the silver corded wiring and the aforementioned Dean's plug as mentioned it takes mp5 style magazines what comes with it is a mid cap straight magazine however you can do the curved magazines here's a uh, old GNP magazine for mp5 all rattly there mag brand mid cap echo one dogs of war mp5 mid cap and even the c mag with a love tap all in all, it's a very maneuverable compact gun, this BTS Mod 3, with a little bit of accessorizing. You can make it your own. Here we have a little Bravo Tracer unit, very small one here. MRO style dot, little M-lock rail section that you can get just about anywhere, so I can add a light later. Here's what I did to this Mod 2 here. So I retained the stock, although if you don't like the PDW stock, mind you, it's a standard buffer tube system, so you can change it out to whatever you like. But that's kind of like the key feature here. You run a little clone EOTech, P15 Bravo, and then another tracer unit, the Mod 3. Compact little package, but still pretty maneuverable. The BTS Mod 3 chronos in at about 330 to 350 feet per second, so about one joule for you CQB players. The Mod 2 or M4 style clocks in at about 370 to 380 feet per second, so closer to 1.3, 1.4 joules. Solid numbers for an outdoor gun. Here's the BTS Mod 3. Though it does come with a CQB spring installed, it will handle higher rated spring, no problem. M120 at least, just like the Mod 2. The buffer tube wiring isn't obnoxious like on some other PDW type guns. There's no fuse in this area to get all smushed up by your battery here. You just do your stick lipo, do a slight wire tuck, make sure it's all good, and then it's a coarse threaded tube, so nothing to strip or screw up here. Then just reinsert your stock here. The little lever 
and the big lever. After that, it's only the big lever to retract or adjust. So it gives you just enough for you to cheek your AEG. All right, that does it for me today. This is the Echo One BTS Mod 3 and the other one is the Mod 2. Be sure to check it out on our website, echo1usa.com for specs and details. And be sure to shop local at your favorite store or field. Support them so that your community can keep growing and you'll have a place to play. I'm Tang from Jag Precision. I'll see you later.